Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubus here, and welcome to my simple hotel tutorial that is, you know, simpler, smaller, so for any of you out there that do not have millions of materials, you can make a smaller hotel that all your friends can enjoy on a survival world, or even on a creative world, you know, if you just don't have enough time. So, this hotel includes a, you know, decent amount of rooms, you can, you know, it's very modular, so you can build it up higher if you'd like to. And, you know, the rooms are nice and cozy, 2.5 high block ceilings. And there is, you know, again, a total of three floors, that being one, two, and three, all with a lot of rooms. So five on each floor, that's ten, and then there is four on this one. So there's 14 rooms, and on just this one specifically, again, you can make it as high as you'd like. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so the materials needed for the hotel are fairly simple. You're just going to need oak wood or any other type of wood and all the accompanying blocks. You're going to need some stone brick slabs and some glass panes. So start off by making a pattern like this with three in between with your you know specific type of wood you chose and there will be a total of one, two, and three of those in the front and then you just want to make a pattern like this so two in between these, one in between these, and two in between these. So this is, the ho this is like the hallway and these are the rooms but of course on the bottom floor we're gonna have sort of a lobby type area. So let's go ahead and just connect all of these with oak wood like this and you're gonna have to do this on all of them and you just you know connect in between and I'm gonna go ahead and do this and come back because it's pretty annoying to watch and to do and the end product should look something like this so the ceilings inside of here are too high but with you know a stone brick so if this was too high you know you put a block there that's too high these will be 2.5 high so this is 2, and this is 2.5, this is how high your ceilings will be. So you want to build the first layer, you know, where it's 2 like that, connecting, and you want to build up all of these 2 higher than they already are. And now that they're all 2 higher, you just repeat the same pattern you did on the floor, but on top. So again, you guys do not want to see me do this, and if I'm not explaining this clear enough, with the same pattern you have on the floor, you're just doing 2 higher up now, and you know, it's just going to be the same, so I'm going to do this real quick. And there we go. So this is the basic one layer frame uh, over here. This one is three stories high, so this is how high we're going to do it. So basically you just build this up again, you know, two, three high on top of these, and then connect them. It's the exact same thing. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to build it up to where it's three stories and come back. Again, it's just the exact same thing, so there's no point in me explaining it. I mean, you're going to see the finished products. So if you guys, you know, need to see that, then you will. But just keep doing this until you get it three high like this. So I'm going to do that and come right back. And this is now three stories high, so this is good. Uh, pick a side for your entrance. You don't want to do it on the side. You want to do it on either this side or on this side. So I'm going to choose this side. I'm going to grab a door here, of course, for the entrance. And then we're just going to add, add all of the walls. So on the bottom floor, I like to do stone brick. But inside of the rooms, I do not like to do stone bricks. So stone brick is basically the floor for everything, except for inside the rooms. So these are the hallways, as you can see. And this is, you know, the lobby area. Obviously, these will be closed off with oak logs like this. And there will be doors. And then there will be oak logs in here. And I'm just going to explain how this works. And then there's going to be three oak planks from the outside, three window panes, and then on this side you just do that. And you want to add your glass panes now, so this is the side of your hotel. Just put these in so that it has a sort of a side hallway window, so when you are inside you can see that like this. So that way when you're down here you, know, you, have, you have sort of a nice view area. And again, like I said, the ceilings will be 2.5 high, so just place your stone brick on the roof here for your ceiling. And that's pretty much how a room will be. Of course, you know, you close it off with that, and then you have your stone, uh, um, wooden oak wood slabs for the roof of the floors of these, because this is technically the next uh, floor here, and see how it kind of all goes along. And then you do the same thing here, three, and... And you just close it off. So that's the basic design for all the rooms. I really do not want to go through building every stink in one of these rooms. 
So I'm probably just gonna do that off camera and come back. I mean, this is obviously the lobby. What I'm gonna do is do all of the rooms, and if I, you know, if anything you know really needs explaining, I can, you know, hop back on the camera and show you guys real quick. But you know, you this is basically all you do. There's nothing special, and then you can decide, des you know, design the rooms however you'd like. You could maybe dedicate the top floor since you built it to yourself. It's sort of like a special, you know, top floor seat suite. Not even sure what they're called. Uh, I, I don't know how I can't remember that. It's a pretty basic term. So as I've been explaining this, I've pretty much built the whole bottom floor. Um, if you guys have been watching, I'm trying to explain how this is going to look. So that's basically the design. And then of course in here, again, is stone slabs. Or not stone slabs, sorry. I'm using, like, uh, yeah, wood slabs. And this is sort of the lobby area. And let me run a weather clear for a long time, like a lot of seconds. Uh, right here is going to have to be a little bit different because this is how you get up and down from your floors. So you're actually going to need a little bit of ladder. And you just build this straight up like this. All the way to the tippy top. And then I use just window panes on either sides like this. And then, you know, the ceiling will be wood slabs right here. And then since this is the next floor, it will have stone slabs as the floor. But remember, inside of the rooms, you are using wood slabs. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all the rooms and come right back. Again, it will look like this on every floor if you've kind of seen what I've done. And, you know, of course, with the floors, it'll, you know, add ceilings to the next level. And I know I'm going over a lot of these things more than once, but I'm trying to ingrain it in your head that it is, it is literally the exact same thing. And the pattern you do for right here is just like that. So you just kind of go around the ladder. That way you can just kind of step onto the ladder. And make sure it's on the right level too. You don't want to do it on the wrong level. So you flush with the logs. And yeah, I'm going to do that and come right back. And as I'm working on the second floor here, I just want to reiterate the fact that you see, this is the lobby for this area, and you can add some things in here. But on this floor, it's not the same. This is actually going to be a room right here, you know, with your standard things. And it's not, you know, going to be copying the exact same thing, so I guess I should have explained that a little bit better. But you see, I I've just kind of, you know, done the second floor right here, and I'm just continuing to, continuating to do so. That's not a word. But yes, this is exactly how it's going to look, and... Right here, I, I mean, I guess I'll finish the second floor on camera. There's no point me cutting right now. And boom. You got your three things here, your planks. You got them on the sides. And on the sides right here. And that's, uh, gotta get the ceiling here. See, 2.5 high. And yep, second floor is complete. On to the next floor, which is up here. Okay, so I figured I also might as well show the uh, finishing of the roof. So that's pretty much how the exterior will look. There's a couple of tweaks you can do, which I will show you. But on the ceiling, obviously, you do not want to continue the stone brick up here because, I mean, you could do this. You know, you could add, like, 50 floors up in the sky, but for time's sake, I can't do that. You don't want to do that. You want to just use your standard oak wood along with the rest of this. So, you know, just filling in the floors. And then... Let's just quickly do this so we don't have to make another video clip because every time I cut I actually have to you know edit it together and it's and it's pretty it's not hard to do but it's not you know the easiest thing so you see where the oak logs all line up if I were to do, were to do them this way that would require a lot more so I'm going going to run them this way and that way I hit most uh, I don't know how I'm saying this I'm not I'm not, I'm not I don't know I'm I'm messing up my words and not explaining what I'm saying right now, so, you know, my bad. But just do what I'm doing on the top here. Just lay your oak wood slabs above the tops of the logs so it gives it sort of a nice even pattern. And it looks nice from the top. So, something you can do to add a little bit more texture to the outside of your build is taking these stairs and just putting them instead of the oak wood, you know, blocks, the plank block, you can just add these stairs. And let me just do this to the front. And show you how it looks. Oop, broke the wrong block. And see, it looks really nice. It gives some more texture. Obviously on the sides, you can't really do that. 
Um, but on the back, I'm going to do that. Ah, much better. So now it has a lot more texture on the outside. And something you could also do is maybe add a little bit of an arch here to protect your windows from the rain. Like that. And you could probably do the same thing right here. Well, not probably, you can. And doing the same over here. And lastly, right here. And now we shall get into designing the interior. Ooh, the fun part. So you have a nice interior in here with a lot of rooms. I think the total is somewhere around, uh, I don't know. I could do the math, but I can't think right now. Probably 10 or so. So let's just design one room right here. So I'm gonna grab a bed, obviously, because what is a hotel you know, room without a bed? So let's do a bed here. Let's grab a stair. Put the stair right there. Grab a pot, my signature pot and the orchid, the blue variant, and then maybe a crafting table. We're obviously gonna need a torch somewhere, so we might as well put one right there. And then maybe a, hmm, crafting table. Oh yeah, a chest. We could do it definitely a chest and a painting. And that's pretty much how you design a room, and you can just do this for all of them. Come on, give me one. There we go. She got two in a row. And you know, you can do this in all of them or you could make up some unique designs. I don't know, I really do not want to design 10 rooms right now. But I'm probably just gonna copy this design into all of them. Obviously, you know, if you don't like that, you could you know, do something else, you could put it in the floor, you could do a lot of different things. I like it, I think it looks nice. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the tutorial. I hope you guys liked, enjoyed, all that cool stuff. Remember, gosh, I'm having so much trouble with my words. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to see more of my content. I have a lot of other tutorials like this on my channel. If you'd like to check them out, you can just click my little icon, or you can go to my channel and check all those out. And I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you can follow me on Twitter and post the pics of this build or any other, any of the other builds I do on my channel on to Twitter. Like, just tweet me the picture, and it's, it's really cool. I like to kind of give those a look, retweet them and whatnot. And yeah, I shall see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.